Welcome to the You Demand It podcast. Fans, you demand it and we deliver. Along with Ann Argus, I'm Mike Ligas Schultz. Before we get to our guests, here's how you can be a part of upcoming shows with your questions. You can find Utah Athletics on Facebook at facebook.com slash uathletics. Also, check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash Utah Athletics. Well, Ann, a great run for the U's, but the undefeated season came to an end Saturday. A 47-7 loss to TCU at Rice Eccles Stadium. Seemed like one of those days where everything went right for the Horn Frogs, nothing went right for the Utes. Mike, you're right. I just think we could never get on top of our game and execute the game plan that they had been practicing all week. I do think one positive that came out of Saturday and just the entire weekend is the tremendous Utah football fan support. The fans were great Friday, Saturday morning with game day, then all the way up to the game and the noise. It was our second largest crowd in Utah football history in Rice Eccles Stadium. And I just want to give it a, a special thank you to all the fans for their tremendous support. We really, really appreciate them. We need to really look ahead to Saturday. We have a huge game, a nationally televised game versus the very historic program of Notre Dame. And it'll take all of our players coming together as a team playing really strong. And one of those guys that's going to be a key guy of our success is Jeremy Brooks. No question. Jeremy, a senior on this team, 40 catches, 460 yards and four touchdowns for him. He ranks in the top five in the Mountain West in all three receiving categories. Here he is, fans, giving you the answers to your questions. Why receiver Jeremy Brooks, our guest this week, are the you demand it podcast. Well, Jeremy, thanks for joining us. First question comes from a fan. Stacy Nielsen Williams wants to know what are your thoughts about the game versus TCU and what led to the outcome Saturday? Definitely disappointed with how we played. Um, you know, uh, just losing, you know, that big to a team, you know, is it's always bad. And uh, I know that we could have played better. The things that kind of led to the to us losing so big was um, definitely the, the four turnovers um, against a good team. You know, you can't you can't turn the ball over a lot, and that was probably the uh, the biggest thing, that, you know, as an offense of why we lost the game. Well, the good news is still three games left, a lot to play for. And Emily Devine wants to know how do you bounce back from Notre Dame, and how do you prepare for the Irish this week? Uh, you know, just come back, you know, with a vengeance. You know, we got to come back, you know, kind of mad, kind of angry, you know, that that we lost last week. And uh, just kind of going to South Bend, you know, um, like preparing, just getting back to the basics, you know, how, how, how we win every week and uh, just getting ready for them. And Kale Munford asked, what do you think about having a chance to play in South Bend? You know, in your time here, we've never played the Irish. And what does it mean to play in one of the most storied venues in college? Um, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, um, you know, just something that I have to appreciate. You know, coming to Utah, I never would think that I would go and play at, at a school, you know, as big as Notre Dame. And uh, we finally get that chance. We finally get to show, you know, who we really are on national TV. You've been kind of a veteran of this receiver group, Jeremy. You've been around, played all four years. What's your bond like with the rest of the guys in the receiving core? Uh, d- definitely some of my best friends. Uh, you know, I hang out with those guys almost uh, every, every day, all day. You know, I'm, I'm with them, you know, at school, giving them rides, uh at practice, you know, we're always together, and uh, definitely, you know, a, a fun group to be around. Some of the funniest people that I know, and uh, I love it every day. Amber Vincent wants to know, who is your biggest fan? I see your mom and your dad at every game. Do you, do you think they would be pulling in for your biggest fans? Uh, definitely, I'd have to say yes. Uh, you know, my dad, he's he, he's only missed one game since I've been up here. You know, so I'd have to say that he's probably. My biggest fan, you know, um, he pushes me to do everything, and he, uh, you know, he keeps me uh, on a straight path. And your dad being your biggest fan, who is someone that you look up to, and someone that you would call your hero? Just almost all athletes, you know, that are that are doing the right thing, you know, helping helping give back to their community with the money that they make. Uh, you know, just trying to be positive role models for younger for, for younger people. You know, just definitely, I'd have to say that those are the people that I look up to, and, and my father. You know, he's always. Uh, He's always been good to me, you know, um, even whenever I thought I was right, he was right. You know, he's kind of always keeping me, keeping me going. All right, Jeremy, Tanya Jones at Valsa wants to know, look back on your career, what are your best memories, your best experiences coming away from this Utah football program? Uh, just some of the friends that I made. You know, I made, uh, you know, some of the best friends that I have for life here. Uh, I'd like to say that the um, Sugar Bowl, you know, that was also something big for me, you know, getting to play in, in front of all those fans and uh, being so hated. <laughs> by Alabama, it was, it was, it was, it was nice, uh, you know. But definitely, just living here, you know, kind of just getting out of my element, you know, co- coming from Texas and just being out here and kind of growing up a little bit, like on my own. It's definitely something that, uh, that I, I like. I really was happy that I got to do. And as we kind of approach, you know, you're graduating this year. What are your plans for after the season's completed? 
Uh, hopefully after the season, um, I'll go somewhere and train and um, hopefully get ready for pro day. If all that falls through, uh, just come back to school. I uh, only have one semester left and I uh, graduate and uh, just go wherever life takes me. Thank you, Jeremy. One of those seniors and will be missed definitely next year, but still a lot to play for for these guys. Three games to play. Utah, even with the loss, 14th in the BCS still this week. Utah rate 15th in both polls, and three games to go. It starts this Saturday at Notre Dame. That's right, Mike. And if you can't actually be in Notre Dame yourself cheering the Utes on, you can watch the Utes on NBC at 1230. And if you're not by your television, you can always listen live on ESPN 700 or ESPN700.com. And remember, fans, to send us your questions to Utah Athletics Facebook and Twitter pages. The show is about you. You demand it. We deliver. And we'll be back with you next week for another great edition of the You Demand It podcast.